guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a huge holiday Sephora haul. You've probably seen it, but there is a lot of new holiday releases that has been coming out, and they keep popping up, so I decided to go ahead and place an order. I don't have any updates in this video, except if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you'd like, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you can also hit that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So the first products that I have to talk about, if you've been here on my channel for a while, then you know that I hauled the first Norvina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm trying not to blind you guys. I know that the lights are glaring, but if you haven't seen it, which I'm sure that you have, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's very pretty, it's very colorful, and it leans more toward that purple, pinky, orangey vibe. And since then, they have released the second version and the third version. So I went ahead and picked those up as well. So this is the second version of the Norvina palettes, and this is what the outer packaging looks like. Very, very gorgeous, I will say that. I really do love the packaging on these, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. Very, very pretty. And I will say, compared to the first one, I feel like this one is more bold and more vibrant. You have some blues and some greens and some yellows in here. And some pretty, like, metallic shades. Absolutely gorgeous. Very excited to play with this. And then they did release the third one. So this is what the packaging looks like on this. I'm trying not to blind you guys, so sorry about that. Very, very pretty. I actually really do enjoy the packaging of these. And then this is what you have going on in this one. Very, very pretty. This one looks more like fall to me for some reason. So if you guys want to review on any of these palettes, then please let me know in the comments. And I will definitely do that for you guys and get that up as soon as possible. These palettes are definitely more gorgeous in person, I feel like. Moving right along from Too Faced, I ended up picking up their big set from Sephora. They have a set that is exclusive to Sephora, and then they have a set that is exclusive to Ulta. So the one that I picked up is the one that looks like a gingerbread house. So you have three parts to it, and they are magnetic. So I'll show you the first part to it. It looks like this. Now it ends up making a gingerbread house. This is what it looks like. First of all, I will say it's kind of like squishy. It's kind of like raised, and I really do like the effect of that. And when you open it up this is what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and take the thingy off so you can see the colors very very gorgeous i will say and this is what the colors look like i'm gonna try and hold it up so it doesn't blind you so this is what you have going on i feel like some of these shades kindly look like the colors in the natural lust palette which i'm totally fine with because i really do enjoy that palette i feel like they blend out really smooth and you get some of the prettiest soft looks so this is what it kindly reminds me of but again very very gorgeous and i'm very excited to play with this and then the top part of the gingerbread house it's like magnetic and it looks like this i'll go ahead and show you really fast but this part is the door and it's magnetic and it just goes on like that so then you have your gingerbread house so i'll go ahead and show you the inside of the top part you have a blush a highlighter and a bronzer and this is what it looks like i'm trying not to blind you guys because of this packaging but this is what you have going on and then the tiny little door part that looks like this this has really pretty like pressed glitters in here and then you do have two matte shades so you have four pressed glitters and then you have two matte shades and i feel like this is very very cute i love the way that they all snap on together and give you like that gingerbread house effect and again all of them have like that squishy like raised effect to them the next product i picked up is from nars and this is the nars blush palette this is the one called free lover and this was released for the holidays this is what the packaging looks like it's absolutely gorgeous and i definitely had my eye on this I remember when they sneak peeked this, I know this is something that I definitely wanted to pick up. NARS has a special place in my heart, and overall, I feel like NARS is my favorite brand. And I'm just a collector of their face palettes and their eyeshadow palettes as well. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely gorgeous, and I love the shades in here. I feel like these are very pretty for the fall as well, especially these shades right here. Love this, and I'm very excited to have this. And again, I just love collecting NARS blush palettes, and the packaging is super, super cute. Now, the next thing that I picked up from NARS is the eyeshadow palette that they have released for the holidays. And this is called the Inferno 
I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what it says on here. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. But again, this is the eyeshadow palette. This is what the packaging looks like. I love this packaging for the holidays. It's super cute. I just really love it. And then on the inside, this is what you have going on. You do have a lot of matte shades. You have some pretty metallics, and you do have some pressed glitters here at the top. I'm very curious about this formula, but I have always loved NARS's eyeshadow formula. So, ones that I wanted to mention in here that are my top favorite. I rave about these all the time here on my channel, but the NARS Wanted Palette is one of my favorites. I talk about it all the time, and if the formula is anything like this, then I know that I will love it. So, this is what it looks like on the inside. Again, one of my favorites. And another one that I wanted to mention is the Ignited Palette. I talk about this one a lot here on my channel as well. Why I wanted to mention this is because I feel like the formula in the holiday palette is not going to be like these palettes, which I'm kindly disappointed. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but I kindly feel like it's not. I feel like these look a little bit different, but I will test it out and try it out for you guys and see how it works. I just rave about these palettes here all the time on my channel, so I hope this one is just like it. And the last thing that I want to talk about is a highlighter from Fenty Beauty. This is the Diamond Balm 2 highlighter called Hollow at Me, like hollow, like holographic. This is what it looks like. It's very pretty packaging. And this is the second one. Again, this is the new one that they released for the holidays. And I do have the first one, and I have two of them because I love it so much. One is about completely gone, and the other one is brand new. I use this all the time. This is the best formula. I rave about it all the time here on my channel. It's very sweet slick and it looks wet on the skin and it just has a lot of glitter in it and it looks so pretty it's like the most elegant glitter that you have ever seen it just looks really pretty on the skin and it's very very glowy so if you're into that you would definitely love this it's rare to hear somebody not like this. I have seen so many reviews on this and everybody loves it. And for a good reason because it definitely is the best in my opinion. So when I saw that they brought out the second one, this one is called Hollow At Me again. I definitely knew that I had to pick it up. This one has a lot of pink glitter in it so it's like a pinky highlight. But this is what it looks like on the inside. You're not going to be able to tell unless I swatch it. But I'm going to play with this and update you guys and let you know how this works. Again, from what I've seen, this is a pinky highlight highlight and if you know me and you've been here on my channel for a while then you know that I absolutely love pinky highlights it's my favorite I love the way that they look on my fair complexion so I'm very excited to try this and again this is my favorite formula of highlighters I just wanted to mention because I forgot but in the Too Faced set it also came with a mini melted matte lipstick in the shade gingerbread man and I actually have gingerbread girl in a full size in my makeup collection and then it also came with a Too Faced better than sex and it also came with a Too Faced shadow insurance but other than that, that is everything. That is all the products that I picked up in this video. And that is why I wore this shirt because it's the holiday releases. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being here and liking and commenting. It honestly means the world. And don't think that you go unnoticed because I truly see you. And I truly do appreciate you, each and every one of you. But before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you're notified every time I upload a video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.